When moving from one longitude to another, the change of longitude is referred to as Chilong. To consider a calculation of Chilong, it is best to view the Earth looking down onto one of the poles. From the Greenwich meridian to 30 degrees west, west 03000, an angle of 30 degrees is subtended at the center, as seen in the diagram. Now consider the meridian east 100 degrees, east 10000. What is the Chilong from this meridian to the 30 west meridian? Looking at the diagram, we can see that Chilong must be 30 degrees plus 100 degrees. 130 degrees is the answer. Now let's consider another example to 170 east. East 17000 from the 30 west meridian. It is now apparent that there are two angles between the two meridians, one of 200 degrees and one of 160 degrees. However, it is usual to only consider the smaller angle, as this would represent the shorter distance between the two meridians. The correct Geelong is therefore 160 degrees. Likewise, determining the Geelong from west 17000 to east 17000, the smaller angle in this case would be 20 degrees. We will now look at Geelong calculations near to east-west 18000, anti-meridian of Greenwich. Calculate the Geelong from west 16932 to east 17739. Firstly, where is the west 16932 meridian? Remember to think of the Earth in its three-dimensional form to decide where the westerly longitude is. From the west 16932 meridian, it is 10 degrees 28 minutes to the east-west 18000 anti-meridian of Greenwich. Secondly, from the east 17739 meridian to the east-west 18000 meridian is 2 degrees 21 minutes. The total Chilong must therefore be 10 degrees 28 minutes plus 2 degrees 21 minutes which is 12 degrees 49 minutes. Trying to solve the question by using a flat image such as a map can cause confusion. The westerly longitude is increasing from the right hand side of the map until it reaches its maximum of 180 degrees. Likewise, the easterly longitude is increasing from the left hand side until it reaches its maximum of 180 degrees. It is too easy to confuse the east west sense of longitude around the Greenwich anti meridian. West longitude is on the right hand side and east longitude is on the left hand side. This should not be confused with direction. Of course, the Earth is still spinning east, so the direction of east has not changed. It never will. In summary, we have seen how to calculate Chilat and Chilong. A thorough understanding of Chilat and Chilong is required to solve many navigation problems. Remember to imagine the spherical image of the Earth when applying Chilat and Chilong, and not just to think about a two-dimension representation, like a map. Point-to-point -point navigation might take you over the North Pole, or over the South Pole, across the equator, or a combination of these.